Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com, continuing the series of videos in my JavaScript and Node.js for Complete Beginners course. In this video, we're going to start looking at loops in JavaScript, and we're going to look at the very common while loop, which is a kind of loop. So I've created this file while.js. And if you are a complete beginner, this is a kind of exciting step because when you start using loops, that's the point at which you really leverage the power of programming to automate things. So instead of typing something in your code, uh, like five times or even 50 million times, which would be really impossible, nearly, um, you, can, uh, you can get the JavaScript interpreter to output, let's say, some text or to execute some code as many times as you want. Let's start off by writing use strict. doesn't matter what kind of quotes I use, double or single, but I'll try to use single because I, th I actually think they look nicer in JavaScript. So um, the first thing we need is a variable because, so we're gonna execute some code repeatedly and we need to know, we need to keep track of how many times we've run that code so far. So I'm gonna create a variable called counter Let's write let counter equal, and I'm going to initially set it to zero. And then we're going to write while. So while is a keyword, and after that we have a pair of round brackets. And after that I'll put a space in, because I think it looks nice. And we open a curly bracket. And um, Visual Studio Code has actually put the closing curly bracket in for me. I just hit return, and that lines up with the left margin, which is exactly where we want it. So we want a construct that looks like this, and you may recognize this to an extent, even if you're a total beginner, because it's, it's the same as what we have for an if statement. And as with an if statement, we're going to put a condition in here, and we're going to put some code between these curly brackets here. These curly brackets uh, and the code inside them that's, that we're going to put inside them, that's called a code block. So uh, what, let's suppose we want to output some text exactly three times. We can write here while well, counter less than three. And within the loop, we're going to increase the value of counter. So I could write counter equals counter plus one. Now uh, this, every time this executes, it's going to increase the value of counter by one. And this sometimes confuses beginners because it looks like we're saying counter is equal to counter plus one, which seems impossible, unless counter is infinite, I suppose. Maybe then it's possible, I don't know. Um, but you have to remember that this is the assignment operator. What it does is it takes whatever is on the right-hand side and it assigns that value or stores it in this variable on the left here. So we're assigning a new value to counter, which is equal to counter plus one. So if counter is zero, then zero plus one gives us one, and it stores that value in counter. So the new value of counter becomes one. We can actually write this in a shorter way just by writing counter plus plus. It does the same thing. It, it increments the value of counter. It adds one to it. So what, what does this whole thing do? Let's first put in some text. So we can, before we increment counter here, um, we can put in as many lines of code as we want, and they will be executed repeatedly. Let's, I'll just put in some blank lines just to make it a bit clearer. Let's write console.log hello semicolon. So um, the JavaScript or the Node.js interpreter in this case is going to read down, uh, so it, we, we declare counter, and then we hit this while keyword, and it says, okay, is this condition true? If it is, then it's going to execute whatever is in this code block here. When it's finished executing it, it's going to go back to the go back to the beginning, go back to the um, while keyword, that is, and it will ask again, is this condition true? And if it is, it will execute the code block again. It keeps doing that until it finds that the condition is false. When the condition is false, it's no longer true, then it won't execute this. It will go on to whatever is after that in the program. Let's write console.log finished. 
And this may seem confusing if you're a beginner, but the thing is to try it out and play with it a bit yourself. So let's run it now. I'm going to write node while JS and we see we've got three hellos exactly and then it says finished. So if you pra if you just practice this a little bit, you should be able to figure out how to output some text exactly the number of times that you want. Notice it's not going to work if we if we don't increment counter here. That's the vital working part of it. It's quite common to forget that. So when you're writing while loops, I recommend putting that in right at the start before you start filling in code that you want to execute in the loop. If we comment this out here and I try to execute it, I haven't actually tried this, but let's try it. Then it's an infinite loop and I have to stop it with control C, which uh, stops programs executing in the bash shell. Um, so we, we don't normally want infinite loops. Well, we always have to have some way of ending the loop normally. So you have to remember all the different bits of this. Um, so it can be a bit, it can seem a bit counterintuitive that we're, we're saying while counter is less than three, and yet we want to output or we want to execute whatever code is in here three times. And the reason for that is that counter starts at zero. So we have zero, one, and two. Those are the iterations of the loop, the values of the counter um, for those iterations. Uh, so to sort of show what I mean here, if I write comma counter in console.log so that we output the value of counter, I'll just clear my console. If I run that, we can see that counter takes the value 0, 1, and 2. And then when it gets to the value 3, this condition is false. Counter is no longer less than 3. It's false. So it doesn't execute that. It just goes on and does the rest of the program afterwards, as you can see. So if, if you're a beginner, you definitely need to practice this a little bit. I'm going to give you an exercise in the next video, but you have to. Pra I would recommend practicing this before you go on to that video, because otherwise the exercise it may be too hard. Practice it a little bit. Um, it, it's, it's really not difficult. It, it can look confusing at the start. You just need a little bit of practice with it and you should be able to output whatever text you like exactly however many times you like. Okay, so we'll leave it there for this video. Until next time, happy coding.